All right, I'm standing about six to eight inches in front of the Studio Project C1. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It makes everybody sound good. That's what I'm saying. I'm now standing about six to eight inches in front of the SM58, and it is a dynamic microphone, not like the condenser microphone Studio Projects. This one's really good for male vocals. It tends to boost the low end. It can be used on loud instruments, whereas the C1, you want to be careful. This is what you'll see in a studio. The SM58, you're going to see in, on stage. I'm now about one inch away from the SM58, showing proximity effect. What this does is it boosts the low end and gives it a kind of a richer tone. I'm now about six to eight inches in front of the Sennheiser E609. The 609, kind of a funny looking mic. It's great for guitar amps, for drums. You can also use it for vocals, and it does also have a proximity effect. Dynamic microphones, these three right here, have proximity effect if you're really close. I'm now in front of the Rode Procaster, and the Procaster is the radio microphone. You'll notice it has these slots on the side, and those slots help bleed off the extra energy so you can get really close up to it. So it doesn't enhance the proximity effect as much, but it still has a richness. I'm now in front of the C1000. <laughs> I had to switch the cables. We have one dead line on our mixer. So these last two mics, I have to plug the cables in to get them both to work, so I'll switch it out. So this is the C1000S. It's called the Swiss Army Knife of Recording, and it's good for just about anything. It has a small diaphragm condenser, not like the two. The first and the last one have a large diaphragm, big circle in the middle. This one has a small one, and it's really good for just about anything. You just probably wouldn't use that really loud stuff, like a kick drum or a large guitar, loud guitar amplifier. If you're further back away from a loud source, you're fine. for it. There we go. I have to switch the cables, but I have a kill switch on the mixer. And what that does is it keeps the mixer from getting a big spike in sound when I replug in uh, a different microphone. So this is called the Blue Baby Bottle, and it's a large diaphragm condenser mic, like the first microphone we used, and it makes everything sound good. You'll see this in the studios. They're a little more delicate, so you don't usually have these on a live stage, but they make pretty much anything sound good, especially vocals, male, female, doesn't really matter but it just sounds great on all kinds of stuff. And that concludes our tour.